WooCommerce 2.0 finally goes live. Check out some of the stuff you're going to love. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, as always, pleasure to see, pleasure to see you. you as well. We want to hit 500 subscribers to this amazing show about WordPress themes, plugins, WordPress stuff. So go ahead and hit subscribe down below. If you're already a fan, we thank you. This is the show where we're trying to help you out a little bit by giving you some of the WordPress industry news faster than anybody else. Uh, and today we're looking at WooCommerce. 2.0. It's actually 2.01 now. Yeah, yeah. There's, already, there's, already, there's a, already a bug fix. There's already a bug fix uh, uh, in the WordPress repo. Uh, we covered a lot of the stuff in the preview of 2.0 in a previous episode. Yeah, if you go to our playlist for for Press This on our, in our, on our website on YouTube, uh, you'll be able to see that information. That's right. So the guys at WooCommerce, WooThemes, Woo, um, everything. everywhere in the world have finally, their hard work has paid off and the WooCommerce is out. I installed it. We installed it. It's pretty much exactly what we were expecting yeah. from the preview. From the beta um, we, we were a part of, yeah. Yep, from the, yep, from the beta. Um, super smooth to install, super Absolutely. fast to install. Um, a lot of the stuff that changed under the hood stuff, that's mm -hmm. just programming development stuff. Yep. Um, that's making it a lot faster and a lot more efficient. We worked uh, a lot of PHP. End. We worked a lot of CSS stuff on there for you. I mean, any, everything from the back to the front has been kind of re retooled. Mm -hmm. It has been designed, again, almost from the ground up again for you. So it's not just like an add-on or anything like that. You know, this isn't a Windows upgrade. No, I'm mm -hmm. just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, they are saying that if you are going to upgrade from the older versions of WooCommerce, uh, 1.6 something, I think, is where it ended yeah. off. Um, definitely to do this on a staging or a, or a beta server somewhere um, because it's really changing the way the data is stored uh, in the database. So they want to make sure that it's going to be a, a seamless transition when right. you upgrade. You're going to be selling products here to people. <laughs> yep. Yep. So you want to make sure that when you sell those products to those people, we're not going to have any issues. And at this point, it's sort of almost a no-brainer that when a new thing comes out, whatever it may be, uh, you sort of make sure you're protected in some way, shape, or form. In the case of the software like this, you just want to make sure that your clients are going to get the right, or your customers are going to get the right experience that they deserve when they go to buy that product themselves. Yeah, and, and the other thing, as we were talking about customers and, and clients coming to your site, mm -hmm. one of the things that Woo did, which I thought was really good, is they consulted with security mm -hmm. uh, security services. Security for security. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> and, they, and they really looked at the code to so make sure that the code was you know up to par, up to snuff. Um, on being, you know, secure, stable, and reliable for an yeah. e-commerce platform, which is really good. Yeah, Security is a malware monitoring and cleanup service, or so their website says. Yep. And uh, what that basically is going to do for them is, you know, your user experience uh, creating products. The experience for the customers buying the product should be seamless. There should be no um, sort of issues with, or not too many issues with bugs or viruses or anything like that. This yep. is important financial information that's going to be mm -hmm. thrown around on this website that you're going to be running. So. Mm -hmm. um, the products themselves. My my favorite thing about this about this update is are the way that the product details are handled. Uh, I think it's a lot more clean and organized uh, than the older version. Mm -hmm. Not that the older version was bad, but there was just a lot of stuff going on in each product. I think that this they've really you know hit the nail on the head with cl consolidating. There's a, still a ton of options because right. you really need it. But they did a really good job at consolidating all of that stuff into into an yep. easy to use interface. More visual. It's the way the way things are going. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they did some other things like you know they improved some of the other interfaces throughout the yeah. plugin. Um, cleaner interface for not just the store owner but the customers to entering entering right. in their information. Nice clean sidebar, uh, making it very easy and visual again for somebody to just enter their information. It doesn't look like a scary place to be. Right. I think there's a lot, I think there's a lot of potential that if you're creating a website, uh, if, if not for the first time, then just creating a website and just kind of starting to delve into e-commerce that um, people are putting their information out there and it can look scary for you if it's if it doesn't look like you know that typical Amazon website when you go to enter payment information. It's almost like you know Pablo down the street or something like that. You know, it, yeah, it can get. You know. We do another episode, uh, web episode called SEO Lunch where we talk about how to convert uh, and how to optimize e-commerce sites. And we literally just talked about 
uh, user experience. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. are the are the contact forms big, bold, and clear? Yep. Is a direction there? You know, yep. th does the customer understand that they have to enter in this information and that they're doing it in a safe, secure fashion? Mm -hmm. So super, super important. Um, they did some things like keeping it retina ready or making it retina ready. Um, they did things like you know they replaced fancy box uh, with a uh, pretty photo, uh, and some other minor things, yeah. um, visually on the front end. Yeah. But it's also important, like we get this question a lot in our comments mm -hmm. where people say, well, I install WooCommerce, but it just doesn't work with my theme. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, oh, yeah. you know, boo, you yeah. know, one, <laughs> one star. Yeah. yeah well, it's yeah. not really fair to WooCommerce because right. there's a billion themes out there. Right. And if there's a billion themes, then there's a potential of a billion people changing those themes just a little bit too, which will mm -hmm. also conflict uh, right. with the styling of WooCommerce. So super important to know that it's important to pick a good theme, mm -hmm. well-supported, well-documented, uh, so that it's going to work A-OK -okay, uh, with WooCommerce. This is a great This is a great tool for you. It's among, maybe not, if, if not our favorite. Uh, we do cover it extensively um, and it's very popular with, with you folks. It seems to be the the people's choice for um, a plugin. You just want to make sure that your uh, your theme does allow for it to be used. Right, and we are going to do a whole tutorial on WooCommerce 2.0. Uh, we were actually halfway through uh, the 1.6 version when we got wind that there was the 2.0 on the horizon. So uh, we kind of paused that, and now right. we're just waiting to to relaunch the 2.0. But once right. we have that, we will let you know. Uh, anything else with WooCommerce 2.0, Dan, that we want to talk about? I think it looks looks think it looks real pretty. They've they've redesigned it to be cleaner and smoother and faster. And my Retina computer thanks it for being Retina ready <laughs> now. And, Awesome. So um, it's already on 2.01. Make sure you're testing first before you go and just hit the old upgrade button, update button. Yep. Want to make sure that we're doing it correct um, and then everything works. Uh, if you have any other questions about WooCommerce, post them in the comments below. Um, we will get that tutorial up and running. If you have any other plugins or themes you want us to take a look at, do let us know and we'll be sure to check them out. Hit subscribe. We want to hit five billion sub, uh, subscribes. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, go to our site, slocumstudio.com, slocumstudio.com slash blog and slash subscribe to jump on the mailing list. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm going to probably post this today. Okay. That way we can... Uh, um, I mean, I don't think there's really many...